Welcome back everyone. This video is about creating a randomness effect in PowerPoint, which can be used in games, quizzes, and other ways to get your audience engaged with your presentation. This video is on how to make a dice scenario, but the whole concept can be used for any other situations where you want to create randomness once you understand how to create this effect. The whole concept is centered around creating a pre-made video of a rolling dice and then reinserting that into the slide and creating some action buttons with a play and pause to start and stop the dice rolling. That might seem easy enough, but whilst making this slide I came across a lot of problems which I had to overcome. If you watch this slide you'll find the easy way of making this presentation. What you can see me doing at the moment is creating my dice face. I've already downloaded an image and I've duplicated it six times and I'm just going to crop out each of the images so that I only have six uh, different dice faces. Now I'm going to use uh, the organize tool to stack them on top of one another and on the selection pane I can see how they're stacked and what I want to do now is duplicate. So press um, select all of them and press Control D and you'll have twice as many images stacked on one on top of one another and uh, it's a good idea for this animation to have um, maybe 18 or even 36 dice faces stacked on top of one another. So that um, I can make this uh, animation a bit more random I'm going to uh, shuffle them like a deck of cards by going on the selection pane and dragging them down uh, in a random order so they're not all in the one, two, three, four, five, six order. I'm also rotating them just to make it look a bit more interesting when the video plays. And just to show you, you can make it a bit more individualized. I'm also going to color them. I've now col colored it blue. Of course, you can color this to any uh, effect that you like. The most important part of this is the animation. So what I'm going to do is select all of the dices together, click on animations and click appear. I've tried it with other animations, but appear is the best. Click on after previous and then click on delay, increase it to 0.25 or you can have it even lower if you prefer. And this is how it looks. And as it cycles through, you can see it's almost like a random dice roll. I'm now going to save this uh, animation as an MPEG video, which you can do on PowerPoint. Save it to your documents. And now you're going to reintroduce that video into your presentation. I've already created a slide with some trigger buttons, but to create a trigger button, you can use any auto shape. As you can see here, I've created a small circle and now I'm going to create something which I'm going to animate. All I need to do is click on that heart, find an animation that I want to use. Maybe, for example, pulse. Go on uh, with previous. Right click it. Go on to effect options. And I want to go on timing. Go on the triggers section start effect on click of and then choose the thing that you want it to be affected by so the oval which i've just created so now if i click on the oval the heart will pulse and you can do that with anything so i've already created these buttons and if you'd like to use these buttons you can uh, copy the video on the previous video i made of how to make the buttons uh, i may even uh, decide to put this video up for download so as you can see, I've got these trigger buttons. So for the uh, animation of the video playing, I'm gonna drag that down into the trigger section for one of the buttons. As you can see, there's a little mu a mouse icon next to them. You need to remove that so that it's with previous. So in one button, the video pauses, and on the other button, the video will play. You also need to make sure that uh, if you want to, the video will play from the last position. 
So you click on effect options and you click from last position and that will stop it having to go all the way back to the beginning again. I also like to get rid of the media controls when you're playing a video. So now when I click on roll, it will cycle through all the dice faces and then it will stop when I click stop, allowing you to create the illusion of a random dice effect. There are many uses of using randomness in your PowerPoint slide. If you've got any suggestions, put it down in the comments below and I might make a slide myself and post it on YouTube for you to use. If this video has been useful to you, then please give it a like and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.